Hello everyone, this is Dr. Dhiman and I welcome you all to this lecture series in NCERT Physics of Class 11. We were discussing about the second chapter on units and measurement. So in this video, we will learn about accuracy and precision. These are the two terms that are commonly used or commonly asked in the examination point of view. So I hope I will be able to clear the accuracy and precision differences in case of measurement. So first of all, let us see about the definitions. So first of all, let us see the definition of accuracy. Okay, accuracy of measurement is the measure of how close the measured value is to the true value of the quantity. Suppose if we measure the quantity, then what will be the measured value and how close the measured value is to the accurate or true value if there is no errors suppose we have a rod here suppose the length is equal to 5 centimeter this is nothing but true value that is if we measure this rod length and if there is no error in the measurement then the value is 5 centimeter okay so this is the true value that is there is no error in the measurement now for the same rod if we want to measure the length two times okay so in the first experiment if we measure the length and if the length we obtain is suppose 5.1 centimeter because of some measurement error we got it to be 5.1 centimeter suppose we have measured the length second time okay second time we got the length is equal to 5.2 centimeter now observe this value true value is 5 centimeter we can see here true value is 5 centimeter and the measured values are 5.1 centimeter and 5.2 centimeter so between these two values which value is more closer to the actual value here we can see this 5.1 centimeter value is much closer because we have a 0.1 centimeter of deviation here in the second case we have 0.2 centimeter of deviation from the true value okay that means this first experiment the value is more accurate this is more accurate measurement that means this first measurement has a higher accuracy and the second measurement has a lower accuracy are you getting my point suppose you have 2 kg of sugar now this sugar is again suppose measured twice in the first case you got 2.1 kg and in the second case you got 1.8 kg so in the first measurement you got this value and in the second measurement you got this value so which one is more accurate now you can see now you have to see the deviation from this true value this is the true value of measurement okay this is the true value so this accuracy means how close the measured value is to the true value okay that means true value is 2 kg so if we consider 1.8 kg then we have a 0 0.2 kg lesser than the true value if we consider this value we have a 0 0.1 kg of higher value okay then the true value that means now if we compare these two values we will see that this first case has lesser deviation so in the first case we have a higher accuracy in case of measurement if the measured value is much closer than some other value then it is called as a more accurate or more accurate measurement or we can say that the accuracy is higher here in this case we have a lower accuracy now let us understand about the precision precision tells us to what resolution or limit we have to see the resolution or limit the quantity is measured okay suppose we measured 1.214 kg of rice this is the true value now if you have a suppose common balance that can measure up to suppose first decimal point and if it gives a value of suppose 1.4 kg now if you suppose you say digital balance in that case you got a value of 1 point suppose 514 kg so in this case you are getting up to three decimal point that means 
with this digital balance you can measure this mass of this rice up to three decimal points that means this digital balance has a least count least count means the lowest value it can measure okay it has a least count of 0.001 kg now for the common balance what will be the least count what will be the least count it is up to suppose 0 0.1 0 point it is 0 0.1 kg now this precision is dependent on the list count now this digital balance has a list count of 0.001 that is much precise much precise than the common balance this rod has a actual length for better understanding i am taking this second example suppose the length is 3.678 cm okay this is the true value now if we measure this rod the length of this rod now if we measure the length of this rod two times suppose in the first case we got 3.5 centimeter okay in the second case we got 3.38 centimeter okay now let us see the accurate or the true value without any error that is the value is 3.678 centimeter okay the length of this rod is 3.678 centimeter but after measurement you saw that we have obtained two values 3.5 centimeter and 3.38 centimeter which of this measured value is much closer the actual or the true value we can see that this value this first one value is much closer is much closer than the second one value so here in this first case we can write that the accuracy of this measurement is higher because the measured value is much closer to this true value okay but we can see that this precision is up to first decimal point okay but the precision is lower in the second case we can see that this measured value has a lower accuracy than this first experiment okay first measured value that means here in this case accuracy is lower than the first experiment but we can see that up to second decimal point we can measure the value so the precision is higher are you getting my point precision is dependent on the least count of the scale you are using that means whatever be the measuring instrument you are using depending on the least count of that measuring scale or measuring instrument your precision will depend so in case of suppose a common scale that are used for the measurement in the scale common scale we have a least count 0 0.1 centimeter or one millimeter okay list count is one millimeter for a common scale now if we consider a vernier caliper so in the case of vernier caliper we have a list count of 0 0.01 centimeter or 0 0.1 millimeter now in the case of screw gauze or spherometer these are two different instruments for measuring the suppose spherometer is used for measuring the suppose curvature of a suppose lens or any surface screw gauze is used for the measuring the thickness of some uh, object in case of these two measurement these two measuring devices the least count is 0 0.001 centimeter or we can say that 0 0.01 millimeter so this value are the least count we can say that the screw gauze or this parameter has the highest precision because we can measure up to a smaller value than this two first one than these two first cases and this vernier caliper has a higher precision than a common scale so in this way we can understand what is precision and what is accuracy in simple terms we can say that accuracy means how close the measured value is to the true value of the quantity and the precision tells us about what resolution or limit the quantity is measured it depends on the list count okay so lower the list count the more precise the instrument can measure okay or we can say that the precision is for the measuring device or measuring instrument and accuracy tells about the measured value in comparison to the true value this much for today thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel
थैंक यू